Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo. Her name has been coming up a lot right now that Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested. But will Combs' ex-girlfriend play a role in his criminal case? We're going to revisit their history, the connections, and more with former prosecutor Ava Sullivan. J-Lo's mother warned us about Diddy. Nearly a decade ago, Jennifer Lopez's mom, Guadalupe, was ringing warning bells about Diddy. Former record executive Suge Knight suggested that Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's divorce was triggered by Lopez's appearance in tapes the FBI seized during a raid on Sean Diddy Combs' properties. Knight believes the FBI allegedly handed Ben Affleck tapes from the raid that implicate J-Lo in questionable activities. The Diddy case is finally making headway, and all eyes are on him. What's interesting is that while many high-profile figures have distanced themselves from Diddy, Lopez has remained largely silent. This silence has fueled speculation about what she might know and whether she's trying to avoid becoming embroiled in the legal proceedings. When it comes to Hollywood relationships, few have been as complex and public as the intertwining lives of Jennifer Lopez, Sean Diddy Combs, and Ben Affleck. Each of them has achieved immense success in their respective careers, but the headlines often focus on their personal lives, relationships, breakups, scandals, and everything in between. It's official. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck have called it quits on their second time at love. Now here's everything we know about their split. The singer filed for divorce from the actor on August 20th after more than two years of marriage, according to the filing obtained by multiple outlets. However, J.Lo reveals in the court documents that the couple actually broke up almost four months ago, listing their date of separation as April 26. Just 10 days later, Jennifer raised eyebrows when she stepped out at the 2024 Met Gala solo, sparking rumors that she and Ben were having issues. At the time, his rep shared that he was in Los Angeles to film The Accountant 2. Elsewhere in her divorce documents, J.Lo asks the court to deny spousal support to both her and Ben per TMZ. A source close to Jennifer also tells NBC News the couple did not have a prenup. As for why J.Lo decided to wait four months to officially file for divorce, she may have been holding out for- This is J.Lo, AKA Jenny from the block. Where she got the nickname from, I don't know, but it might have something to do with that whole club situation back in the late 90s involving P. Diddy and Shine, where someone ended up getting in the face. But my girl Jaguar Wright was actually speaking on a situation about how J.Lo tries to disassociate herself from situations like that and how Benny Medina actually removed her from P. Diddy and put her with someone new. All Jennifer Lopez had to do was marry a white boy, uh, you know, Oscar winner for people to stop remembering that she had a gun in her pocketbook. She had gunshot residue on her hands the night that Natanya was, was shot at that club. For all we know, that bullet came from the gun that was in her hand. And not once has she spoken up for the betterment of that woman. Not once has she- Civic. They started dating while Diddy was technically with Kim Porter, and she found out through social media that he was dating J-Lo. Get into it. Jennifer stands by her man and issues several statements to the press. She had a statement saying, I was a toughie all night and she didn't have a gun. She just said, look, you know, I love Sean. Uh, I'm going to be with him. And um, of course, that was Sean's album at the time was coming out was forever. Uh, she said, I want to be with him forever. Do y'all remember that movie Enough where J-Lo played a DV victim who learns to fight back against her husband? Well, word on the street is that this movie was inspired by J-Lo's relationship with Diddy. The timeline is interesting for sure because J-Lo accepted the role in Enough shortly after she broke up with Diddy in February 2001. For Hype Plus News, I'm John Oliver. Early morning on December 27, 1999 in Manhattan, New York, Shots were fired after an argument between Sean Diddy Combs and a man named Matthew Scar Allen. After the incident, rapper Sean, who was under Bad Boy Records, was arrested while Diddy and his girlfriend at the time, Jennifer Lopez, fled the club, but were eventually stopped by police and arrested. Lopez was released after 14 hours and was never charged in the case, while Combs and his bodyguard Anthony Jones were acquitted on weapons charges. Shine, on the other hand, was convicted of assault and gun possession and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Well, one of the victims in the shooting, Natanya Rubin, who has never changed her story since day one, has stated once again that it was Diddy, not Shine, who shot her in the face and got away with it. Rubin has insisted for years that Shine had unfairly taken the fall for Diddy. I said it immediately. I literally watched them 
pull out the gun. For God's sake, I got shot in my nose. I was facing them directly. I watched everything occur and have described it to all parties involved. I think in our society, we have respectability politics. There are people who want to be adjacent to power or celebrity or money because his name was more notable. He was believed. Warned us about Diddy. Nearly a decade ago, Jennifer Lopez's mom, Guadalupe, was ringing warning bells about Diddy. Following Diddy's arrest on September 17th, a clip from Lopez's 2015 appearance on The Wendy Williams Show resurfaced where Williams suggested Lopez might get back with Puffy. Lopez laughed off the idea, pointing to her mother in the front row, who dismissed it with a hand motion, saying, It's done. The audience had mixed reactions, but Lopez emphasized her stance. No Puffy. Lopez's mother's disapproval was well known. In December 1999, Lopez was with Diddy during a nightclub shooting, leading to their arrest. Guadalupe scolded Lopez in Spanish at the police station, saying, I told you not to get involved with him. Lopez was released without charges after 14 hours in jail. The couple broke up in 2001, with Lopez later revealing, Grandmother and even your dog knows about the Diddy raid. Maybe J-Lo doesn't want to reopen that door? She's allegedly been implicated in some of what the feds are looking into. And Diddy sounds like he's about to take some people down. You know, a lot of disruptive things. J-Lo was with Diddy from 1999 to 2000, and she got in some legal trouble with Diddy. Get your fingers ready to screenshot, because J-Lo finally spoke out about her relationship with Diddy. Well, just one of those breakups that really you know, it was like a tough one for me. Bye, boy to him. Things were allegedly so bad that J-Lo had a nervous breakdown. In the interview, she said, I was like, I don't want to move. Heard a woman yelling, and I quickly realized that was Jennifer Lopez, or better known to the world as J-Lo. Sean, Sean, what the hell? J-Lo blasts it. Sean responded so calmly, relax, baby. What the heck did you have to start shooting? Isn't that what we have bodyguards for? Now, normally when these kinds of situations arise, I remain quiet. I just listen. I play my position. Actually, yeah, you could say I play my position, but I wasn't paying attention to the news for the last day or so. And even though it would be, it would be the only thing anyone would talk about, talk about with me uh, for months, no one has spoken to me about Primes, it. Ultra Primes. No, oh, this is your fantasy truck. <laughs> this is a Zeiss compact zoom. Huh? This is a very oh. zoom. This is the older compact engine zoom, right? <laughs> These are really good. With the 70s, they're light handheld lenses. I really don't care. Yeah. Under pressure. You can get a little fat. Just kidding. <laughs> what can I tell you? We're just having a good time. Fans getting a glimpse of the couple's relationship in her new doc, The Greatest Love Story Never Told, now streaming on Prime Video. I did really find the beauty and the poetry and the irony in the fact that it's the greatest love story never told. And if you're making a record about it, <laughs> that seems kind of like telling it. It's so funny because we collaborate very well yeah. together, you know, and nobody knows my story. But former executive, um, former record executive, sorry, Sugar Knight, suggested that Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's divorce was triggered by Lopez's appearance in tapes the FBI seized during a raid on Sean Diddy Combs. Sugar Knight believes the FBI allegedly handed Ben Affleck tapes from the raid that implicate JLo in questionable activities. JLo and her management team were reportedly on high alert, holding crisis talks to strategize in case she gets entangled in the ongoing criminal investigations surrounding her ex, Sean Diddy Combs. Now, I don't think JLo will be implicated in any way to be honest with you i just feel like she won't because if she would have been it would have been back then when it happened to the 1999 shooting where you know um she was heavily involved even have a, has a mug shot and i believe but she walked off scot-free now in this particular podcast the way suge knight speaks of it is that ben affleck was told about the stuff because he is a man that is respected in that world he has good connections he's a good team good team behind him and so therefore he was given a warning that yo your missus your wife she was seen on these tapes etc from what we found homeland security fbi would just the arrest of Sean Diddy Combs, the music mogul facing federal racketeering conspiracy and sex trafficking charges. The case follows a year-long, years-long fall from grace. And ABC's Morgan Norwood has a look at how we got here. Good morning, Morgan. Just a wild story. 
Hi, Gio. Just a staggering fall from grace that started with that lawsuit by former girlfriend Cassie Ventura alleging years of abuse. And since then, Diddy has been at the center of multiple lawsuits, federal raids, and now a sweeping indictment. The feds are looking to quickly close in on alleged co-conspirators who for years kept quiet and helped keep that alleged criminal enterprise running. Who's the boss? Dudes is lost. Don't think because I'm iced out. I'm a cool off. This morning, the sex trafficking case against Sean Diddy Combs moving full speed ahead. Lawyers for Combs and prosecutors set to hold a status conference to determine the next phase following the sweeping indictment alleging the music mogul leveraged his business empire, power, and prestige to abuse his alleged... The alleged crimes of Sean Diddy Combs are what's trending in true crime this morning. Welcome back. I'm Julie Grant. Many people are noticing the celebrity associates who are not speaking out. Let's talk about them. For instance, Usher, who was managed by Diddy. Remember that when he was 13 and later worked with him as an adult. Usher recently wiped his profile from Twitter X. He was mentioned in one of the sex assault lawsuits at someone who had sexual interactions with Combs. Howard Stern once asked Usher about Diddy's wild parties. Here's what he said. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you saying? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say you, that. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh-huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And we've got another Diddy associate who's noticeably quiet this morning, Justin Bieber. The singer becoming acquainted with Diddy around the age of 15 years old. And many are speculating that Bieber could be a victim. But Bieber himself has not. Who was married a white boy, uh, you know, Oscar winner. For people to stop remembering that she had a gun in her pocketbook. She had gunshot residue on her hands the night that Natanya was was shot at that club. Not once has she spoken up for the betterment of that woman or say something in her defense to stop Puffy from gaslighting her and trying to put hits out on her because he was afraid that maybe one day they would open the case and she still has the bullet fragments in her face like J-Lo has said nothing. You, you really thought that just running off and marrying Ben Affleck it was was going to take you out of the, the ditty down. So what do you have to say about this comment down your thoughts right now? And make sure to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel to stay updated in future. Until then, keep exploring.